Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Sparky Linux, the newest release. It's got the Mate desktop and it's based on Debian. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like what the channel's doing and like the videos, you can support us by buying us a cup of coffee or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Well, we're starting off at Sparky Linux website. It's sparkylinux.org. I'll be sure to include that in the description below. And if you go to their website, you've got home about downloads, forum, wiki, team, donate, sponsoring. And then you can go down here and it just basically states that Sparky Linux is a GNU Linux distribution created on top of Debian. They have Sugar, which is a new desktop that has been implemented on the App Center. And it's activity focused. And then, of course... Their announcement in October of the 10th monthly Sparky project and donate report. And they have the updated kernel, the 5.14.15 and the 5.15 release candidate 7 available for the distribution. And then just some other news and then celebrating their 10 years in Linux and their 10 years on the distribution. And then figure out what you want to download. You just go over to downloads. Let's close that out. And they've got stable. They've got semi-rolling, which is based on the Debian testing branch. And then you've got a forum. Should you have any problems, zip on over to their forum. And you can go down here and ask questions or maybe just look up or search for a specific question. It may have already been asked and answered. That way you can get your answer quick. If you can't find it, then, of course, you can go in and ask your own question. So let's go back. And then you've got the wiki, the team, donate, and sponsoring. We're going to go ahead and close out of that, and I want to show you something else. You get Firefox as your default browser. DuckDuckGo is your default search engine on it. And you kind of got a Sparky, friendly, and secure OS since 2011 on your search page. So we're going to go ahead and close out of the web browser. And if you download Sparky Linux, throw it on a USB or open it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. You get a welcome screen, Sparky Linux 7, Orion Belt, and then, of course, a lot of good helpful information right here on the welcome screen. You've got the home page where we were just at, forums, the wiki, the Git repo, the donate, you have the app center, the upgrade, about, system info, and backup. This is a nice tool right here that if you want to get somewhere quick, when it pops up, you can just zip on over and get to where you want to go. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. As you can see, we are on the Mate desktop. You get one panel. It's down on the bottom. You've got date and time right here. You've got desktops right here, battery, internet, clipboard, and volume. You can also right-click on the panel. If you wanted to make adjustments to it or change the properties of it, so let's go ahead and click on that. It's got orientation on the bottom. You can, of course, make it bigger just by clicking on the size. And as you can tell, the panel on the bottom starts getting bigger. And then background, you can say none, use the system theme. You can use a solid color. Of course, you can pick a different background if you choose to. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the left. You've got show desktop. And then, of course, you've got the... Sparky Linux app menu. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the desktop. You can create folder, create launcher, open in terminal, or change desktop background. Let's click on that. I do like the background that's presently up. Let's see. Let's go with that right there. I guess it just changes. You don't have to apply it. There we go. There's a good looking background. So you do have a choice of different backgrounds if you want. And then, of course, that one right there. I think we'll go ahead and stick with the Sparky 7. And we'll go ahead and close out of that. Come back down to the app menu, click on it. You've got computer, home folder, network, desktop, trash, package manager. Let's open up the package manager. Right here, you've got synaptic package manager. This is probably one of my favorite package managers for the simple fact that when I first switched to Linux Mint in 2008, this was how you got your software. It's pretty simple. You've got all installed, installed local, manual, upgradable, new and repository, not installed. And then down here, you've got section, status, origin, custom filters, search results, and architecture. It says it's rebuilding the search index. And then over here, you could always click on search. You could always go in and put something in like OBS and do a search. And as you can see over here, OBS has been highlighted in our search on the left. And then OBS Build, OBS Studio, all you would have to do is click on it right here. Put Mark for installation right here. It'll show you the dependencies that need to be added so you can install it. And then all you'd have to do is mark them all and then come up here and click Apply and you can install OBS. 
You can do that for all your software. It makes things really simple, makes things really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Synaptic Package Manager. And we will go back down to the app menu. You've got your control center. Let's go ahead and open that up. Control center gives you a lot of choices here. You've got administration, which is your firewall, light DM, GTK, greeting, print settings, synaptic package manager, which we just looked at, display, so you can adjust your resolution, mouse, sound, keyboard shortcuts, advanced network configuration, firewall configuration, network proxy, mate tweak, main menu, appearance, pop-up notifications, QT5 settings, screensaver, windows, and then personal, you can set up about me, you can do startup applications, file management, and YAD settings. And then common tasks right here would be change theme. Let's look at something real quick. About, about me, I think that's just a live user. Let's close and close. Back down to the app menu. Let's go up here, you've got accessories, you've got calculator, passwords and keys, Pluma, graphics, you got LibreOffice Draw, I have Mate, Mate Color Selection, Internet, you've got Hex Chat, Pigeon, Sparky Online Installation, Thunderbird for your mail, Transmission for Torrents, LibreOffice Suite, Programming, Sound and Video, System Settings, you've got Kaja, let's look at that, that's your file manager. And there is your file manager. It's nice, simple. It's a clean file manager. I've always liked Kaja. It's easy to get around and work with. Okay. Over here, you have your usual suspects. And then right here, you've got your home folders. And then, of course, you can change the size of your home folders if you wish just by pushing up here. And then you've got file, edit, view, go, help, and about. Let's go to Kaja. It's 1.24.0, which is the most up-to-date one. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And close out of that. Go back down to the app menu. Programming, you've got Icon Browser, Sound and Video, you've got Radio Station, VLC, System Tools, you've got Live USB Creator, Mate Terminal, Sparky Linux. Let's look at Mate Terminal. Mate Terminal, we're going to come over here and we're going to see if they've got HTOP installed out of the box. They don't. Let's see if they have TOP. Right now, we're running 525 megabytes of the 3 gigabytes I have issued to this machine, so that's really light. Mate has always been a nice, lightweight desktop, but it's I think it's gotten lighter over the last year. It used to run a little heavier, but if you're wanting to put this on an older machine or lighter hardware, it's going to be quite easy for you, and it's going to give you the opportunity to do a lot of work and make use of older equipment. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Go back over to Menu, Universal Access, Administration, and then, of course, your Preferences. Appearance, Assistant Technologies, Displays, Mate Tweak, Main Menu. You can customize your desktop with Mate Tweak. Let's open that up. Mate Tweak lets you show desktop icons or not. You can just uncheck those. And then your panel, of course, select the panel layout. You can pick GNOME, OpenSUSE, Fedora. If you pick Fedora, you see it kind of changes down there. It pops up here. Okay, go over to Windows, Enable Animations, Enable Window Snapping. Appearance, Window Control Placement. You can have it on the right and left. Right with menu, left with menu, and then your fonts, and then your window manager. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then come back up here. Let's see what other preferences we have. Keyboard shortcuts, mouse, network proxy, screensaver, startup applications, you add settings. Let's look at basic information. Sparky Linux, Orion's Belt. We are running kernel 5.14.0-2. So that is not the 5.15, but it is available, and you can download it and put it on Sparky Linux. And then Window Manager is Marco and a live user. So, guys, that's just a quick look at Sparky Linux. It's the newest release. It is lightweight. It'll work great on older hardware, and it'll work great on newer hardware with lower specs. What do you think? Is it something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine, and give a test drive to? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and you like the videos that we're making, you can buy us a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.